Had a difference of opinions the last time with Katsura, but we still agreed to visit Ryoma. When we got there, we found out that the Shinzen Gumi and our Blade Twin had attacked the place, so we had to quickly make our move and do battle. The Tokugawa Shogunite and the Choshu Satsuma Alliance were preparing for war, and there was nothing in this world that was going to be stopping that, unfortunately. We then moved on to our battle with Kondo and Brunette, and when the fight ended, our Blade Twin made their move. I'm still in Kyoto right now with the homie, and I would like to welcome you to a brand new episode of Click Fireball Media, home of hack slash PC and console games. We are getting closer and closer to the end of the game. I'm going to be covering some major developments in this episode. I'm going to be leaving some timestamps in the description of the video just to make things easier. And if you haven't done it yet, then I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell. Now that I've said that, I'm going on to the map, heading to Before the Dawn, and that's going to be our next story mission. And we've just arrived. No time to talk to Kuroda. Well, that went more smoothly than expected. We'll send the men who can still fight to mop up the rest of the enemy. Ah, made it through safe and sound, I see. That's a relief. I would hope so. The homie's still alive. And it looks like we won, so I'm going to be choosing that. Indeed. But at no small cost. I should also say a report came in that Shinsoku has passed away. To think he too has left us. They say he was keen to hear news of the battle up till his very last moment. Sadly, we don't have the time to mourn him just yet. Thanks to our victory, the word we've been trying to forge is right around the corner. And it appears the demon claw samurai's assault on Yodo Castle didn't harm our cause either. Well, it's good that the Demon Claw Samurai didn't do that. But let's take a look at our options. And I think that would be our choice right here. So I'm picking this one. Well, that's more or less the size of it. I'm sure they're up to something. But regardless, Yodo Castle was a great opportunity to turn the tide. We'll gather our forces and chase down the Tokugawa. Whatever orders might come our way, attacking Edo is unavoidable now. The samurai with the Demon Claw will no doubt be headed there too in pursuit of Lord Yoshinobu. You are on the trail, right? What do you say to traveling to Edo together? Going back to Edo. Why not? And we can return to our current region with the Testament of the Soul. I've heard Lord Yoshinobu was badly wounded. That means it's Katsukaishu calling the shots. We need to find out what he's planning. Katsu is liable to take drastic measures, like a corner's rat. I'm counting on you to make contact with him in Edo. I know you can do it. Shogun's life is not in danger, but still he must rest up for now. I just can't understand it. Why didn't we stand and fight? With my fleet, it was a battle we could have won! We were following the Shogun's orders. He did not wish for us to fight. And frankly, Enomoto, I believe he means to lay down his very life for the million citizens of Nedo. And you will allow this? You are a samurai! Is it not your duty to protect your lord and master? It is indeed. And that's why I have a very important job for you. Minamoto must take his excellency and his men to safety overseas. The people of Edo, too, should use what ships they have to escape. Escape, you say? You can't be serious. After that, we will set Edo ablaze. 
I have already told Chief Tatsugoro of the firefighters our plan. We will destroy anything useful to our enemies. When they are weakened, we'll have a chance to negotiate. You really mean to sacrifice Edo? If Edo were to become a battlefield, it would be utter carnage. Countless citizens would perish. <sighs> no, this is the only way. The restoration is nigh. And all shall burn. The Sekihotai will see it done. Well, it looks like the Sekihotai is going to be a huge problem for us. And I want to start dealing with them pretty soon. Ronin bands and unruly areas. There may be times when Ronin band together to disturb public order. Defeat them to restore public order and earn significant rewards. And then pro Sekihotai areas. Some areas are controlled by the Sekihotai. The strength of the Sekihotai will be determined by the number of neighboring allied areas as well as the number of unruly areas therein. Uh, that icon will display when activated. Moreover, you can increase the bond level of areas so long as they are controlled by the Sekihotai. Restore public order to neighboring areas to liberate them from the Sekihotai. How many times did I say the Sekihotai? Let's go ahead and just close this out. I just want to start dealing with them. And it seems like half the map is covered in red. I'm heading towards the Fujiokaya Diaries, Veiled Edge. Hey, there's this guy. He's unusually quiet. Good things come to those who wait. I knew you would come. It must be fate. He is acting super weirdo right now. What's the deal with him? Do I? It's just I've come to some important decisions about a lot of things. In any case, there is something that I'd like to talk to you about. I've already picked out the place. Well, will you come with me? Sure, it doesn't seem like a setup at all. Let's just agree to it. Wonderful. Let us be on our way then. And here we are now. Let's go ahead and walk with this guy. Say, mind if I tell you a bit about my past while we walk? <laughs> Years ago, I worked as a day laborer at Edo Castle. While there, I happened into the employ of a generous noble man. Those days are long gone, but I really had it good. You know, it so happens that it was snowing on that day also. We are almost there. You'll know it when you see it. Ah, damn. This is the place where we did battle with Lee. Right. Let's stop here, shall we? I believe you are already quite familiar with this spot. Indeed. This is the place where Lord E was attacked. By you, no less. So I'm assuming this nobleman is Lee. I don't make mistakes. It's my business to know things after all. Like how there was a veiled edge amongst the men who attacked Lord E at the Sakurada Gate. And that it was a veiled edge who murdered him. You see, all this time I've been watching you, testing your strength, and my suspicions have been confirmed. You are that failed edge. So I ask you, who was it that murdered my lord? As if he's expecting a different answer. I knew it. And now, you yourself have admitted it. I will strike you down and avenge my lord! What the hell? I knew this guy was on some bloodthirsty motive type shit. Enemy of lord or e. Oh, he was One acting thing. like he was a pretty good guy at first. I knew anybody that would mummify his friend would not be someone I could trust. 
and that's this guy. Yoshizo Sudo. The man that mummifies his friend and was hella happy about it. Well, I'm tagging him. But I won't go down so easily. Are you sure about that? The he is about to go down pretty soon. Down to about 5% of his life bar. Never mind, he heals. And he just got me. He's making a comeback. Well, damn. That combo took off a lot of life. And heal. And take down the pattern. Okay. That was pretty impressive at the same time. I returned a few hits. In tag again. I have to block those gunshots. See, I could do the same thing too. He was acting like he was special with this pistol. And so. What's wrong, Velvage? Why won't you finish the job? Gotta respect this guy. He was ready to die for this. <sighs> Wonderful. Not that it matters, seeing as I've lost. But let me ask you one thing. What are your true feelings about Lord E? Tell me, did his death accomplish anything? Well, that's a hard question. Let's see what we have here. I think that would be a good answer, so I'm picking it. The two of you may be on the different paths, but I can see that you respected him. Thank you. I promise to not speak a word of what has happened here today. The public will be better for it, as will you, I imagine. Naturally, I will make no mention of it in my writing, either. That would be awesome. What is he going to do now? Good question. With Lord E gone, I have no further ties to the Shogunate. Who knows? I may open up a used bookstore and then continue peddling information on the side. But I do hope we will meet again someday, if the fates allow. And there goes Yoshizo. I swear I remembered his name. The entire time. Like the entire time. Well, we finished the mission and got ourselves a keepsake oxtail blade along with a servant's revolver. And I am in the menu taking a look at that right now. The boosts are pretty good. At the same time, it's not as strong as what we have currently. And also, I found myself an even stronger revolver. And I'm picking it right now. Here is the keepsake oxtail blade. It's okay. For the sake of a friend is going to be our next mission, which is also a favor. And here's Brunette. Let's talk to the man. Have you heard from Katsu? Ijikata is intent on getting back at the Satsuma Choshu Alliance for what was done to Kondo. The fool is beyond listening to reason. In fact, he's even gone so far as to drive us all out from the outpost. Katsu mentioned something about Sato willing to help. However, it appears Lord Katamori has called him away. This is when Katsu is trying to prevent an all-out battle for Edo. Should the Shinsengumi wage war, I fear that all his efforts will have been wasted. We may have to stop them by force, but they're already stocking up on heavy artillery. Getting involved now would surely result in retaliation. That said, with your help, we might stand a chance. I beg of you, talk to Hijikata. I guess we should do it. Seems like he's taken it pretty hard. I'm counting on you. Be sure to tread carefully. 
and here we are this is the start of the mission i kind of died the first time so i'm not going to be showing that it took a while for me to get got basically and also it's pretty sad that takasugi and kondo kind of died off screen well here's our first enemy they didn't really go over how kondo really died anyways it was kind of messed up if you don't know just google it not going to go into detail but it's sad all right man got took out there is someone hiding right here time to assassinate him right in the gut like a predator hunting prey you damn right brunette has the right words and now we're going over here and i am going to be collecting this nothing much Okay, I always miss that guy for some reason. He's hiding behind the lines. I'm walking right past him. And he comes out and just starts slashing me. Well, we have to deal with this guy now. My current katana style was not doing the job, so I had to switch. Got a chance to use my grappling rope at least. Ran into a couple more enemies have to do battle with him. And he just went back to fight a brunette. He's back on me and I got my finishing blow to take him out. Got a basket, Casa. Which I'll never use. But I will probably sell that at the apothecary. Or some type of store. Alright, this guy's next. He got put to sleep. Or I broke his neck. Whichever one. His twin came right out and is trying to get his revenge for his fallen brethren. Well, he keeps backing up. Is he going to attack? Okay, well, he just finally came in with a combo. I took both of them out. The bloodline is over for those clones, I guess. Okay, let's move on. I'm trying to see where more enemies are. I have to break through this door. Oh, it's too powerful to get through. Had to break it. Hold on. Just counter spark his attack. I'm coming in. And I took him out. This guy used the grappling rope to get him closer to me. Which might not have been a good move. I need to heal. Just got some more low level items. I don't really need except for the arrowhead poison. That I don't really use neither. Like when am I going to be using dipped arrowheads? I've just been using regular arrows this entire time. And bullets. That's something that I've been using way more than arrows. I've modernized my equipment and tools for the battle I don't even know where I'm going with that well we are here with Nagakura right now kind of missed with the TNT barrels kind of sparked both of his attacks and he just got me with his unblockable try to grab me and block that Healing. Just kind of sparking in. He still has a lot of life left on his bar. Coming in. Now we're making some progress. Kind of sparking in. Okay, well, that did some damage. Heal again. 
we're getting closer to victory. I can smell it up my nostrils right now. Okay, I might not have to use my keyblades. Hopefully I don't, since I can save that for a future boss. Okay, this is getting kind of dangerous. He's coming at me with a barrage of attacks. I'm forced to use my Keyblades. Even though he has an inch of life on him, I just don't care. It was worth it. And we got ourselves a rear courtyard key. Haven't defeated all three formidable foes, but it's whatever. Let's move on to the boss. Activating this Veiled Edge banner. I'm good. We got our skill point. Let's move on. Need to find more enemies to take care of. And I can't do that while I'm just sitting right here. So let's keep moving on. I only defeated one formidable foe so far. I'm in the bushes. Being stealth with it. Even though I'm a samurai, I feel like a ninja inside. To battle. Holy crap, how did I miss that cannon? I'm hiding behind this rock. I'm trying to get a shot at these guys. Never mind. Back to the other side. I uh, see. Get back down here, Brunette. You're trying to get yourself killed? Well, I got one of them. Alright. Other guy got got too. From a distance. It's kind of what I do in this game. Just sniping them all. I have another victim right ahead. There's a couple more soldiers. I'm not caring. I'm just going to be taking this guy out. What I do care about is that minigun that I failed to see. Kind of my bad. Brunette is blocking the minigun while he does that. Let me just go over here. Right behind this tree. And I got him. Just like that. He didn't even see it coming. He was just shooting away with this minigun. And then he got popped. Okay, well. The cannon came out of nowhere. Let's just run across the... Okay, it's right there. Well, damn. He just got me again. Let me take care of this rifleman. When I was trying to do that, this guy comes from the side and tries to take me out. Kind of annoying. That's why he got got. Now for this guy. Cannon's right there. It's okay. I need to take care of the cannon right now. I do not want to deal with this cannon while I'm trying to take out that one guy. I don't. I can't do it. Can't change weapons, unfortunately, so I can't even use a bow and arrow. I'm just going to be running towards them as fast as I can while dodging the cannon. Now I'm close enough. I'll just go in for the kill. Have to take care of these two guys. Obviously, since I'm so close, they can't use the cannon, so this is great defense for that. In my mind. I'm just saying. Well, someone is shooting me with their rifle. That was kind of annoying. He was just hiding out here in the corner. Now that I see him, I just got hit by an unblockable attack. Well, now I took him out. Let me click this. 
fire pipe fuel, and five shuriken, which is pretty good. And there's this guy that missed everything. What was he doing? Was he taking a piss break? Is that what was happening? Just counter spark that attack coming in. And he is out of here. Got a little bit of goods. Not a lot. But I'm satisfied with it. Black Marketeer, which usually means a boss. Yep, we are definitely going in to a boss fight. Veil's Edge Banner activated. Let's check what's in here. We can't actually open the door. There is a chest. Is it good? Ha! That's interesting. Yeah, it is, but it's something that I'm not really going to be using right now. Let's go to the black market here. <laughs> Don't rush. Take your time. Don't really need a lot of things except for rifle bullets. I wonder how you use it. You should already know. I'm done. Thanks for your patron. Let's go through the door. It's like, I wonder how you're going to use it. It's rifle bullets. What do you think I'm going to do with it? Can't back down now. I warn you not to get in the way. And here it is. The battle with Toshizo. Okay, let me just tag you. This means angry and grieving. Dangerous combination. Took off 10% of his life bar. Well, I blocked most of those attacks. And he got me. That was kind of surprising. Didn't really expect to get got like that, but I'm back. And I am ready to go. We can't back down now. I warn you. Not to get in the way. Doing better this time. I am a little bit more versed in kind of sparking his attacks, even though I just got hit there. Things happen, you know. Especially when this man is coming at us breaking down. Okay, a little bit of a problem right now. I need to heal again. Got me again. I haven't opened it now, though. That's about 40% of his life bar. Just kind of sparked a series of those attacks. Gonna keep going. Again. Making some progress now. He's in the red. That's what I like seeing. Let's force the heal again. I have four medicinal pills on me. Overall, I'm doing pretty good. Activate the Keyblaze. Let's finish him. Getting low on life, I just don't care no more. There it is. Even though I healed. Which means I did care. Anyways, let's just end the battle. Is it over yet? I'm waiting. Still not done? Okay, it's done. Even if I am to die here today, you hear me? Kondo wanted us to live, Ijigata. You mustn't forget the mission he entrusted to us on that day. <clears throat> Let's be careful here. Man is listening finally. We don't want to say the wrong thing. 
think that would be the right choice. He asked us to become samurai for a new age. If we are to die here like dogs, will the true meaning of his words be lost forever? I think we should look for the answer to that question together, Hijikata. Besides, you can always die later. Yes. It seems I need to calm my mind. We won't start a fight for selfish reasons. That is my promise as the vice captain of the Shinsengumi. I shall now go and calm my troops. They must be pretty worked up. But remember, all of us fully intend to fight and die like true samurai. So the next time we fight, it will be to the death. Until then, if you have any business to discuss with us, we will receive you here. Well, it's a good thing that Toshizo calmed down. We have completed for a sake of a friend. We got Izumi no Kami and Horikawa as a prize. I'm going to be checking that out right now. These are a pair of katanas. And it's not really as strong. Loyalty to a friend is our next mission. Luckily, it's not too far away. We don't have to run across the map or anything. Just going to be leaving Toshizo alone for a little bit. Hold on. Is this where we're supposed... No, never mind. Here it is. Oh, it's you. Saito. Ah, it's you. We have some pressing matters to discuss. Leave us for now. One moment, Lord Katamori. I believe I found the perfect blade for this mission. I'd like to take them with me, if I may. Hmm. You may be right. Very well. I'll leave the matter in your hands. Rumor has it Kondo's head is to be displayed at the Sanjo Gawara execution grounds in Kyoto. If that be true, it could serve as the spark which sets the Shinzangumi to revolt. It would make a mockery of Kondo's dying wish. And what was his dying wish? Let's ask that. He told us that should he be killed, he did not want his head to be displayed in public. Only Lord Katamori and I know. Were Hijikata to get wind of this, I believe he would not be able to contain his rage. I want you to go to Kyoto with Saito and ascertain the truth of this rumor. Sounds easy enough. Let's go Good. ahead and agree. I'm counting on you. Now head out. We strike at the first chance. Sounds good. We have begun the mission. Loyalty to a friend. And there seems to be a marker right ahead of us. I don't know what's happening. But I'm aiming. Didn't take that guy out. But I took his friend out though. Let's put away the rifle. Come on. Let's take care of Spark that. And it's over. Saito is putting in some work. There's these guys here that just appeared. We need to take them out too. Another finishing blow delivered. And now for this guy. That seems right. to have done it. Let's examine the bucket. All right, let's take a look. Empty. It's only bait. Bait. Two of you. And there I was hoping I could kill you all. Well, I guess this is going to be our first boss of this level. Oh. Holy crap, that almost took me out right off the bat. And heal again. Coming in. Got an opening. Took off about half his life bar. Well, you can stay with Kondo. He can shoot little katana waves like Lee. That's a lot of the same moves as him, too. 
hold on, ah, damn. Well, that was Just the end of me. You. Doing this again. And there I was hoping I could kill you all. Ginzai is tough. But we're more than And the spark again. Doing better this time. This is actually my second time facing him. And that's all it's up. Take your hits to the execution ground. Because Leech is about to be ended. Not now, but hold on. Need to keep tagging him. That was getting kind of dangerous. Had to heal. Fails to counter spark that attack. Not even sure why I used the toxic whetstone, but I used it. I healed. This should guarantee my win. There it is. Forgive me, Yabi. It seems Kondo's head may be at the execution ground. Let's go. Sounds good to me. Where are the grounds? Kondo's head must be here somewhere. Never no mind. Reason for Kawakami to lie about it. Let's activate the Veiled Edge Banner. And see what's going on here. Kondo. I've come for you. There was one other thing I promised Kondo. And that was to get rid of anyone who knew about this severed head. Do not think ill of me. I have nothing against you. But you must die here. Saito is a liar. If the man did not have anything against us, then why were we specifically chosen to join him on this mission? And it sparked another attack. It does help that I face him a few times. Kind of familiar with all his moves. Got blinded there. Covered up. Still got hit, but I kind of sparked his shuriken. Popped him a few times with my pistol. Gonna have to do a lot of counter sparking against Saito. Man is peerless, and they ain't playing. That's kind of tough, but he seems to be blocked by this table. That's his Achilles heel. A tiny little table like that. Unstoppable. He can't cut through it with his katana or anything. He can't even walk around it. Man was just stuck. Got him with a few hits. I knew you wouldn't make it easy. Playing a little defensively right now. Gonna have to do that with this guy. Got an opening. Didn't really complete the entire combo. Got hit with a bomb again. But he is down to about. Well, never mind. He healed again. So he is back to below 50% life on his bar. Got me with his unblockable attack. Hold on. Had to roll out of that one. Could have finished me off if I wasn't too careful. Okay, let's activate Keyblaze. Can't really wait any longer for this. He just keeps chucking bombs at me, doesn't he? Also, how many bullets does this man have? He just keeps shooting. I swear it's been more than eight shots. It's getting close. Just a couple more hits. Kind of sparked another attack. He has a touch of life on him. Forced to heal one more time. Now I have zero medicinal pills. 
this is where I have to be a bit conservative with the way I use my weapons. Have one bullet left, don't need any more. I just defeated the man. Kondo. Forgive me. At least Saito's loyal. I'm going to be picking. Hold on. That option. You see, I, who was once so ruthless, used to strive only to hone my skills as a swordsman. To what end? I knew not. But Kondo recruited me as I was, and showed me a path to follow. Were we not both searching for a meaning behind the sword? I hardly expect you to forgive me for my actions. If you are going to kill me, know that I am fully prepared to receive your blade. Only do not reveal what you saw today. In the next world, I hope that I can apologize to Kondo for breaking my promise. This is pretty sad, but at least Kondo had a friend like Saito. And we have completed the mission, loyalty to a friend. And he was loyal. We got a new weapon. Let's check it out. It's not as strong as my current sword, but I might just go for it a little bit later on. But I found myself a public order and we are heading towards it right now. Let me get off the horse going to be getting into this place by air. Well, sort of. I'm on the rooftops. Getting close to some enemies. I see one sitting right there. Do I see some sort of rifleman or archer? Don't see nobody yet. Damn. Got my freaking pistol out. I'm going to switch it over to my rifle, take a name. Well, I didn't get him. I did pop him in his dome, though. So I don't understand why he isn't got. I got him again. Well, I'm not playing this game. I only have six bullets left. I'm going to be gliding down and taking this man out the old-fashioned way. Knocked him right into the ocean. And this is where we're going to be doing battle. We've got a bayonet, which has been destroyed since it's in seawater. Collected what was here. I uh, see a big man. Okay, who is sitting right next to him? That would be our fugitive. I'm not trying to fight both of them at the same time. So let me just lure the big man away. I think this is good enough. Taking my shot. He should notice me by now. And he's going my way. Missed the last attack. And he just grabbed him. Let's move away from the fugitive. I'm just trying to fight one of these guys at a time. Got a few more attacks in there. Switch katana size. Might not be the most ideal. But I caught him though. He didn't get me with those attacks. And I finally can sparked all those. Coming in. He knocked me back. And he got me, but I finished him off. Man is without a head now. Let me prepare for the big fight. But maybe I should just take out more of the small fry. I think that would be a better idea. 
Now, where are they at? Well, I see a couple guys here. Got him. All right, I got that guy's attention now. Let me see if I can take him out. Did he lose track of me already? Shot off his hat. He's still alive. I'm just going to get closer. Who see me? Well, I missed this guy before I jumped. It's a rifleman. Well, I got him with one shot. For some reason, this rifle isn't all that powerful. Well, I'm taking this guy out. Well, almost. He still has his life on him. Now he's gone. How the hell is the fugitive up here? Like, what alerted him? Did he have some sort of pet dog or something that came and barked at him like Lassie? And the man just started running? Yeah. Either way, we are fighting Gensei. Gensei. It's not gonna last long. Just one combo. Over. On to this guy. Kind of sparked his bullet. Rolling towards him with a flaming blade of death. Okay, that was kind of close. But I got him. It's finished. It's done. Public order has been restored in Kiyobashi. And we got ourselves a medicinal pill, eight feather. I don't know what to do with that. But let's go ahead and get back on the map. I found another public order and a fugitive. Getting over here right now. I'm not going to be taking my horse any further. This is close enough. Running the rest of the way in. I see. There's our fugitive with his pet wolf. Not going to be bothering that bonding moment right now. I just want to take care of his little friends before I go anywhere else. And maybe there is an ally here. Not sure about that just yet. Just taking a look around, I see an archer, just a singular archer. Let me take him out. In his head. Man's dead. I see another enemy here. He doesn't spot me yet, does he? All right, good. Okay, well, I just messed up there. I was trying to assassinate him. But it ended up, uh, ended up doing nothing. Kind of got tongue twisted there, but he is back up here on the roof. Just got me with that attack, too. I was trying to counter spark it. Mistimed it. I don't know why I jumped onto this roof. I was trying to attack the man. Kind of sparked him. A little bit of a combo. Wasn't too long though. Didn't really do much damage to you. Alright, he's low on health. And he's trying to shoot me. That was a terrible decision. Was too close for that. Cut that man up. Let me release one of my allies here. Well, seems like she is ready to fight. Let's get back on the roof. I only have three more enemies and two formidable foes. I see one of them right now. Let me get his attention. And he just dodged out of that. Just kind of sparked him. A few attacks. Let me lead him back here. So he doesn't alert the fugitive and the wolf. 
got me with his death. It's alright. This is less alright. Hold on. For both those attacks, not the third one though. Doing a little bit better. And I kind of sparked most of them at least. Something. Okay, well, now he's tagging me. I have to heal. Just use poison. Well, a toxic wet stone. That took him out. Walks right over him, too. Well, there's Big Man and his wolf. Hella TNT barrels. So I'm going to be doing what's natural, which is just to chuck them at him. Got at least two of those barrels. Didn't get any more. Did do some damage to Big Man, though. Burn effect is still ongoing. But he grabbed me. Took off a little bit of blood. Healed just in case. Got another toxic wood stone out. And it's over. We got a rusty key. And we defeated the fugitive along with bringing public order back to Kiyobashi. Again. And we didn't really get nothing special. There's our ally. That's what's up. We said goodbye. And now let's collect what's here. Flaming whetstone along with arrowhead oil, which is the most important things to me. And also a blue dragon oxtail blade. It's not as strong as my current oxtail blade, but it's cool. Found another public order. I'm heading towards that direction right now. Let me get off the horse. I think we're close enough. Climbing onto the roof again. That seems to be my preferred method of getting into these places. Got my rifle out. Aiming. Got him. Right in the dome. That's what I call satisfaction. Now I'm jumping over onto this roof. See a few enemies here. Only four in total that we have to take out along with two formidable foes. I think I see one of them with the big man over there. Want to see if I can actually assassinate this guy though. He's too far away. All right. Breaking out the rifle again. I'm going to be taking my time. Apparently none of these guys can see me. And he's walking. He's going to stop soon. There it is. Off with his head. And the fugitive didn't even blink an eye. I mean, he was standing in that direction, too. Okay. I think I see him running over to the body. There he is. He's just discovering his dead friend. I'm still dealing with Big Man up here. Just knocked him off the roof. Going back this way so I don't have to deal with him and the fugitive. Is he coming? Let me pop him real quick. Remind him that I'm here. Big beluga of a man. Alright, well he has a burn effect going on. Back it up, counter spark that. This should oh crap. Just start attacking air for no reason. Well, I took him out. On to the fugitive. He will be the last one I have to take out, I think. Can I chuck the torch at him? That's exactly what I did. Now he has a burn effect on him, and he also has a flamethrower. Just going to be closing his face and just sticking to him like glue. 
I'm not going to be allowing him to shoot endless walls of flames at me. Well, I took him out, got a rusty key, and also brung back public order to Nihon Bashi. Bashi? Nihon Bashi. That would be the name. And also, I got an American Revolver MK3, which is right here. It's not as powerful as my bodyguard's revolver, but it's fine. Let's pit the Pilgrim Dog. Hmm. All right. Let's go for the prize. It should be here. Let's unlock the door. And that chest has already been opened, but here is a smaller chest. Lion's Rifle, Champion's Chest Armor, and Samurai Gauntlets. Here's the Lion's Rifle. I'm going to be picking that for now. It only has five shots, though. Samurai Gauntlets would be my best gloves, so I'm getting it. And it seems pretty cool. The boosts are nice. Compared to what I have now. This is better. Especially for the headshots. 11.8% I think. Well, either way. I am going to be calling it an episode. I'm going to be releasing a new one pretty soon. If you haven't done it yet, then I would appreciate that like, subscribe, and even slapping that notification bell. Want to thank you and everyone that has subscribed. Do appreciate it. Until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Peace out.